when I cut out the bulkheads, I missed out on these little notches here and here, and you can see they run all the way through all the bulkheads. Those are to support the carlins. The carlins are bits of wood, like the cleats, which run all the way along. And what they do is they support the side deck. So the side deck goes on here and you have the carlins. It'll be a piece 20 mil by 30 mil like this. And then on the outside here, you'll have a similar piece, which is the gunnel. And that uh, runs on the outside and uh, supports the other side of the plank here and also provides a surface for the hardwood rub rail to be screwed onto. Now the carlins and the gunnels are both 20 by 30 millimeter softwood. I'm just using this stuff because it's what I've got. It's just pine, that'll do. But I didn't cut these notches. The carlins and the gunnels need to be laminated out of two pieces. That's because the curve is quite pronounced. And if I demonstrate with this piece of wood, you can see I'm putting a lot of force on it and there's no way that I can get it to bend in without breaking it. So I've cut all these notches here for the carlins and I cut a bunch of my cleat stock in half. Here's one of them here, nice and bendy. But I ran into an issue when I was trying to bend them around the notches where the carlins are supposed to go. As I will now demonstrate. Snapped right here at this knot. The problem with this cleat stock is that there are knots everywhere. And I have broken a bunch of it, trying to get any of them to bend. It wasn't good enough. It will not bend in the way that I want it to bend. So I decided to go out to the wood store today to see if I could uh, find an alternative. Up until now, I've just been going to the regular hardware store, but I found a proper building supply store with all sorts of different types of wood, hardwoods and softwoods. In the building manual, it says that they use yellow cedar for the cleat stock and the carlins and the, all the other bendy bits. So I thought I would check that out. Couldn't find any yellow cedar, but there was red cedar. Then I asked the price and uh, it was $11 per meter. <laughs> so the amount that I wanted, it would have cost me $160. So I asked the dude if there were any alternatives <clears throat> and uh, this lovely old man was helping me. And uh, we went all, the, all, all over the place looking for some uh, appropriate wood. So we found some pine boards, which you can see here. One of them is five meters long. This other one is just over two meters long before it gets to this crappy bit at the end. And as you can see, they're completely clear of knots. We've got 12 millimeter by 140 millimeter boards here. And we've got just over seven meters of it. So if I did my mathematics correctly, there should be enough to get four 30 millimeter strips out of one of these 140 millimeter wide planks here. And that should be enough for the carlins, two on each side. And I can't remember what it's called, but the this bit, two strips on this side and two strips on that side. And this would cost me $30 instead of 160. So I cut these two pieces to simulate a carlin and uh, I measured them against the uh, notches that I'd cut and they actually fit pretty good. I just got the uh, trusty rasp out and uh, 
trim them all down a little bit and now they all fit. Etc. Etc. So here is a port side gunnel, dry fit with clamps. You can see the butt joint here. So I'm not going to scarf it. It's just going to be held in by the outer piece. The outer piece, which extends all the way, the inner two pieces don't. So I think that that should be good enough. The building manual says screw in from this side and then also screw in from this side. And then as I screw those screws in, I can take the clamps off. Then when I actually glue it, I should only need to just use the screws, I hope. Finish screwing on the gunnels on either side. Now I have to epoxy them on. I may have used an excess of screws here. I probably could have got away with about half that many screws, but better safe than sorry, right? I mean, more screws is better screws. Screwing was not 100% enough. 